guys, it's me, one Winter Wolf 31, aka Winter Wolf. Today we are building a family house in the Island Living Expansion Pack. This is a two bed, two bath house. It retails for about 47,000 simoleons, a little bit more than 47,000. And I made a little pool area. Basically what I did is I made a room and then I deleted the foundation so you can see the water. So I know it's not technically like a real pool area, but it looks pretty cool. And I did this because I thought a family home would be the best place to put in. If I had kids on an island, I'm not sure I would want them to go swimming by themselves in the actual ocean. So this keeps it a little more contained, a little more safe. And yeah. So I have that and this, I think it's built, it was originally called Pier Perfection was the original um, build over here. This uses only one pack. It's only the island living pack. And originally, when I upload this onto the gallery, it had something from Parenthood. And I had to search. I searched everywhere. I had to go through each object because I couldn't see it. Of course, it was on the walls. It was a wall decoration for the children's bedrooms. And I just couldn't see it because I had the walls down so it didn't show up. So I spent all that time and I was like, wow. Had I not just added the walls. Um, I think I've said this in an earlier video, but I absolutely love the doors and I love the windows that they've made. I like the idea of having windows that don't have glass. I think it's an interesting idea and it looks a lot nicer because you can almost, I don't know, it's just nicer and they go together and I don't know why, but the one, the glass window that they have for island living is pretty much the same as their previous glass windows except it has like a more it has a wooden finish and it's way cheaper and I don't get it because why would it be cheaper than something that looks exactly like it I don't know but I'm glad it's a cheaper option now because when I'm building houses the original windows I had took up some money and I did end up making this a two-story house I was trying to make it one story but I wanted everything to be I don't know it was getting a little cramped I wanted it to be a little bit more spacious it didn't end up being that spacious anyways but I tried. So that's why upstairs you just walk right into the um, parents' bedroom and they have their own bathroom. The kids have a bathroom and it's also a bathroom for like, you know, the guests and all that. Because it bothers me when they don't have two, two baths, or not two baths, <laughs> have a bathroom on each floor. Because Sims walk really, really slow and I don't usually teleport my Sims. So it's annoying to have them walk like 15 minutes. 15 sim minutes, I should say. 15 sim minutes just to get to the bathroom. And then, then they spend like 20 sim minutes. The timing on this game is a little bit off, <laughs> needless to say. I love these windows. This is my favorite window that they have, especially because I think it and even the glass ones, they pair so well with the, uh, I don't know what you want to call them. They have that, the one that looks like siding. I can't believe, I just can't name things when I'm doing these videos. I'll go back in and I'll edit in the actual name of the window that I'm talking about. But I'm sure you guys know which one I'm talking about, and if not, oh well. Originally I was going to use a, the other dining table because I used this dining table for my other build. But it looked kind of weird and it was kind of big, so I added this one instead. A little bit weird to have with only four, um, what do you call it? four chairs. Boy, I am losing my words today. Originally I made this bedroom to be for teenagers. Um, and then I changed it because I wanted it to be for kids instead. I don't know why, I just did. I think there's more decorations to do when you're kids. The only problem is I forgot, oh my goodness, I forgot to add, I was going to add a drawing table into the little, you'll see there will be a um, office area. It's that last room before you enter into the balcony. Or not balcony, but back porch, whatever you want to refer to it as. So maybe you guys can add that when you put it in, or maybe I'll add it again and then I'll re-upload it. I don't know. We'll see. Kind of just depends on how lazy I am and whether I want to do it because I had to re-upload this several times once I had to find the parenthood. Then I realized I didn't do all the uh, walls. So I had to go back and I had to do that. And then I didn't like the way the windows looked, so I changed some of the windows. Um, I added some windows because I don't like having blank spaces on walls. So things have changed. From this build video, you will see it if you upload this build. It will be uploadable, by the way, on the gallery. My sim 
Oops, I'm ID, but my uh, EA ID is the same as my YouTube username, 31 Winterwolf. 31. Y'all need to help me come up with a nickname. Should I be Winter? Should I be Wolf? Should I be Wolfie? I need a nickname. So, y'all should comment down below what nickname I should be. Maybe I'll do a poll. We'll see. So, yeah. Okay, we're doing the bathroom now. I did not. I Okay, it bothers me that we can't size up and size down the mirrors. And also we can't size up and size down the windows. And we can't add multiple windows on the same wall. I don't know why that is, but it bothers me because sometimes one window is too small, but then if you add three of them together, it looks so nice, but it looks super weird because they're just blank, like it doesn't have the glass, it just has the wall in it, and it looks kind of weird, so I never do it, or at least I very rarely do it because it bugs me so much that you can't add multiple windows on the wall. And I don't know why we can't size up the the mirrors, I don't know if it's just hard to program or what, but yeah, this was me trying to see if we could change the water. Obviously we can't. I don't even know why I tried, but I thought maybe since it's contained, it will let me. It doesn't. Um, let's see. What are we doing now? Oh, I think we've gone upstairs now. So this will basically be the whole entire um, parents' bedroom. There isn't any separation, you just walk right in, there's no door to the parents' bedroom, you just walk up the stairs, you get into the parents' bedroom. Which I kind of like, I like how open it looks. Usually I don't like having, I don't know, I think that if there's only going to be one floor with one room, it's okay to not have a door. Why have a weird hallway that closes really quickly? It's not like this is the biggest upstairs area anyways. I really like these lamps. I think they look really nice. I've been putting them on the bedside. I think even in my last build I did. So those lamps are nice. I also like the decoration. It's really simple and it's just wooden and I love wooden things. So I really like the decor for this. And I think my color scheme for this was a little bit weird. I tried, originally I was trying to do light wood and then it ended up being black wood. <laughs> so I think I've kind of mixed the two and I think it turned out pretty nice having both the light wood and the dark wood. There's a little bit more dark wood than there is light wood just because of the fact that I color this house blue at the end and I don't think the light wood, excuse me, like, oh boy, I just can't speak today. I, whenever I do these videos, I can't speak, but I'm too lazy to go back and re-say everything I just said, so I just keep it in anyways. Basically, I don't think the light wood matches the blue wood as much, so I haven't use the light wood as much. I really love this archway. I love how big it is and spacious is it. Oh boy, maybe I need to take a minute. <laughs> I love how like big and spacious it is. Space spacious. I love how big and spacious it is. I'm just I don't know, my speaking's a little off too. Or maybe it's just because I don't I'm not used to talking this much in one sitting. I'm actually usually I'm not quiet but I'm not like the most talkative person on the earth. I'm just kind of like somewhere in between, you know, like ambivert style. So yeah, and if you hear any tapping, it's my dog. She's walking on the floors right now. I have a Siberian Husky. She is my my little baby. I'm sad because she's almost six years old now. And I'm going to college. By the way, I've graduated high school. I was thinking about doing a video on it, talking about you know, what happens after you graduate high school, what it's like, I'm excited, you know, just things that usual graduates tend to go through, so we'll see if I do that. You see, I'm trying to do something with the TV right now. Ethically fail at it, I completely changed my mind. It's worked in previous videos, but I think because I'm only doing base game, the fireplace wasn't the right fireplace to do this with, so that's why it's a little bit off. That's okay, though. It didn't need two feature walls anyways. Those are the coconut chairs I was talking about in my previous build. They're obviously not coconut, they're wick, but they look like coconuts to me, so I like it. I tried to keep some blue in. I wanted to add a little bit blue, especially since the rock wall is kind of like blue tinted, or not 
just flew. Oh my god. Sorry, I'm distracted by my dog. Um, so yeah, so I add a plant that has a blue. Originally I was trying to layer these, but it won't let you layer them, and the only other way to layer them is to get rid of the, uh, table first, and then raise them up, and then put them where you want, and then add the table afterwards, because if you do it the other way, then it's just gonna put it where it wants to put it, instead of letting you put it, which I don't like. And I wish that wasn't the case, because it gets annoying, and you actually want to do something. I love this, uh, wallpaper. It's not a wallpaper, I think it's just wood in the siding section, or maybe it's in the wooden section. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't think it's a wallpaper, though. I could be wrong. I'll probably edit it and write down and yell at myself if I am wrong, just so you guys don't yell at me in the comments for being wrong. Um, oh gosh. My cat's here now. I apologize for any background noises. There's a cat whining outside. Sounds miserable. I don't know why it's whining. It's in my neighbor's house. And now I have my cat and my dog, and they don't really get along that great. My dog is a very jealous dog. If my cat is anywhere near me, she will come running over. She'll bark, or she'll just want a tons of attention. So hopefully that doesn't happen, because I don't want to re-record this video. <laughs> or this voiceover. It's just not, not fun. Alright. Where are we in this video? We're almost done with this video. Right now I am working on the back. I end up changing the fencing to a different one just because I felt like the wood on this fencing didn't match as well. So I got rid of it. I wanted something black. If you heard that, that was my dog. She just slipped. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, so yeah. It's been an interesting day today. I didn't wake up till like noon. I don't like waking up late. I'm an early morning kind of kind of girl. Because I have lots of stuff to do, but today I canceled all my plans. If once I wake up late, it's like, I'm not doing anything that day. So it was a little bit nice. I kind of just worked on some more build videos. I checked out this expansion pack. And I like this pack. I think it's really interesting. I would recommend buying it. I'm going to explore it some more. Maybe I'll do a Let's Play. Maybe I'll tell you whether you want to buy it. I know some people do that. Should you buy this video? So maybe I'll do that video. Here's the blue. I actually don't usually do very, very colorful walls in my build. But this time I did, and I think I'm I'm glad I did. I think it looks pretty nice. It's definitely very Islander. So I'm glad I did it. It right? I don't know, it reminds me of like a lifeguard. You know, the lifeguard house area. I don't know why it reminds me of that, but it does. I think I end up changing some of the windows after this build is done because when I was doing the screenshots it didn't look as good. I definitely forgot to do some of the walls which I end up fixing later as well off camera. Um, and then I do this little rock thing in the front so it kind of looks like it's being maybe maybe it's on rocks, maybe it's being raised by rocks. I thought it looked pretty cool and then on the side there's going to be this lovely little area for plants to go. Um, I do fix the one tree that ends up going into the house. I do fix that, so don't worry about that either. Let's see. Oh, and I'm sorry about the audio still. I don't know what's up with this footage. It's a little bit blocky. I'm gonna see if I can fix that before I upload it, but if not, I'm sorry. I don't know why it's blocky. I, I've i uh, recorded the same way I always do. It's the exact same, so I don't know why it's doing this. It didn't look like this when I was recording it. Clearly now it is. And if you don't see it, that means I figured out how to fix it. I did add a, I think, a fish cage at the bottom. Oh, we're getting into screenshots. So this is the build. Um, I really wish we could color ceilings, just because I think when you do these screenshots and you do these uh, walkthroughs, which, by the way, I'm just pressing the tab button to make it look like this, it just looks bad to have this boring white ceiling. I don't know why we can't edit them. I feel like that wouldn't be that hard, but at the same time, I know that it's not a really, really big deal for The Sims. I'm sure other people who don't do YouTube and don't take screenshots probably don't complain about it at all. Hey guys, it's Future Me talking. I kept wondering why some of the audio is off and it doesn't match with what's happening, and I just realized it's because I keep pushing the audio forward every single time I delete a segment of it. So I'm sorry if some of the audio is really off. 
I tried fixing as much of it as I could, but if not, I apologize for any missing segments. So you can definitely see the white from there, and I don't like that at all. Um, kind of wishing I had put that weird, is it called a cabana? I don't know. I'm kind of sad that I didn't put that in. I might have put it in over the, oh, over the pool. It would have looked so cool. I didn't do it, though. Maybe I'll put it in later. Or maybe I won't. I don't want to change things too much. So this build becomes completely different from the build video. The decor on this build is light. I didn't do too much decor. Didn't do too much detail once again. Really wanted to keep this cost effective. Wait, is that the right term? I really wanted to keep it kind of low cost. But that didn't happen. I mean, I don't know. I think 50k is an okay price for a family house, but it is only one bedroom and one. Well, it's two bedrooms technically, and you can have two kids in it. Now we're looking at screenshots. I like the way it turned out. Um, I accidentally forgot. I think I said this already. I forgot to add some more children's toys, but you guys can add that in, or I will. I probably won't, actually. This build took way too long. Like I said, I've had a little bit of a build rut. I've been in a little bit of a build rut lately. So, not as fun. There's that stupid white ceiling again that you can see. Lovely view. I don't remember what island this is on, but it's still a nice view. Now we are upstairs. This is the hallway into the bedroom. The only thing about this is there is a lack of privacy. Obviously, this is a Sims. Privacy doesn't matter that much. Although I guess they can't get the embarrassed mood look, but I mean, it's not a big deal. I was going to add curtains and then I never did. I don't know why. I think I might have just forgotten. But I also thought, well, maybe I should let them pick their own curtains if they want to add them. I like these windows just because they're a little bit better suit for the bathroom because it's open, but you can close it. Not in the game, obviously, but it looks like you can close it. And I think with bathrooms, it's kind of hard to find which windows to put in because realistically, you would want some privacy. So I'm going to end this video here. This is the last screenshot. Um, thanks for watching. Hit the like button if you liked the video. Hit the subscribe. Hit the subscribe button if you liked me. And this is uploadable on the gallery. I said my EID is the same. I'll put it down in the description box. And have a good one. I will see you next time.